angry guy here and Gen Zers are overdosing on marijuana and going insane. I, I, you already know how much I despise Gen Z. They are, you know, they're a group of good for nothings. So we have a video for you guys. Evidently, the Gen Z idiots are using so much pot they're, that they're experiencing psychotic symptoms right now. And this is all happening before they even turn 18. So they're not even old enough to legally smoke weed in states where it's available. And then people wonder why the Gen Z idiots are passing away faster than any other generation right now. But you don't have to take my word for it. We'll listen to the video. Back now with Dr. Jen, looking at a new study of 12th graders and their marijuana and THC use. Really interesting. It's published in JAMA, specifically Delta-8. That's the type of THC that we're talking about here. And in this survey, amongst 12th graders around the country, 11% reported THC use and 30% self-reported using in the last 12 months. It was more common in states where there was not a recreationally legal marijuana law in place. Um, but again, even though there are issues with the methodology of self-reported, is that really accurate? Mm -hmm. I think it does bring up issues of A, what's going on in this age group, so we're talking seniors in high school, B, where, where and how it's occurring across the country. No difference in gender, no difference in uh, socioeconomic or uh, ethnic breakdown, but where it's illegal, you saw higher reported use. So, you know, we're all parents. We're, Phil and I are a little ahead of you mm -hmm. yeah. where you are with Ella, but it does also bring up, you know, if, if you make something taboo Absolutely. in this age group, does it make it more, you know, kind of something that they'll see? And this out? has been a struggle forever, especially with marijuana, mm -hmm. you know, and now right. that it's legal, it's a little bit more illegal in some places. It's a little bit more complicated because yeah. your kids say, well, did, did you do this? And you want to kind yeah. of balance out between what they should be doing right. and and, mm -hmm. and I think this is a real wake-up call to parents yeah. or grandparents or anyone with with someone this age group in their lives you know just because it's not legal in your state does not mean that your kids in high school are not going to be thinking about it knowing people who do it experimenting with it um, so the awareness is there the education has to be there and the conversation has yeah. to be and there. just because it's legal doesn't mean it's legal for minors correct yeah. or, safe. Time. Or, or safe, safe period. Yeah. yeah the discussions for parents they never stop <laughs> we have an article amid rise in cannabis induced psychosis mental health program in Windsor gets young people early help. So these idiots are using large amounts of it, of pot for recreational use and they're not and they're using it in the states where it's not even legal. The, the states where it's not legal, there is higher use. It's not only happening in the U.S., it's also happening overseas. This is an issue in the United States, in the, U in the United Kingdom, in Canada. These guys, these, the Gen Z idiots are no good. They're no good. Tegan Rose's job involves going into the community to support people aged 14 to 35 who have been in a state of psychosis or what's believed to be the first time and getting them help as early as possible. The registered nurse and support worker is in the early intervention psychosis program under the umbrella of the Ca Canadian Mental Health Association. Psychosis refers to a collection of symptoms that affects the mind and can result in a loss of contact with reality. Rose said the program has seen a large increase in cases of cannabis-induced psychosis over the past several years, especially in young people. That can trigger psychosis in people that may have a vulnerable brain and maybe they have an underlying psychotic disorder, but it's exasperating the symptoms. It might not necessarily be an addiction, but recreational use as well can have a negative Im impact on symptoms. Health Canada has conducted an annual survey since cannabis for non-medical purposes was legalized in Canada in October 2018. According to the 2023 survey, cannabis use in the in the 30 days prior to the research being done remained higher among Canadians aged 16 to 19. Guys, 16 to 19. This is crazy. I'll read this again. According to the 23rd, 2023 survey, cannabis use in the 30 days prior to the research being done remained higher among Canadians aged 16 to 19 at 29% compared to 23% in 2018. Other studies have indicated a massive surge in emergency room visits in Ontario between 2014 and 2021 for cannabis-induced psychosis. So these idiots 
are using large amounts of cannabis. I mean, when I was growing up, you know, there were a lot of people who used it. You know, I'm 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 41. I'll be 41 this year. I'm a Zennial, so I'm right between the I'm right be- between Gen X and Gen X and uh, the Millennials. Although I'll probably be like the way that they play with the numbers. I'll eventually just be called straight Gen X, and it's kind of it's a kind of in my day there was a lot of people who used it, but they were more functional than these idiots. Like like I don't know like we had movies back in the seventies and you know like even that seventies show they would like do the whole thing where they would sit around the uh, sit around sit in the basement, and they would just like you know light up so they would just light up and get a little high. But it was just it was different back then. It was just so different. And then again, you know, that stuff was more pure. You didn't have like the evil people around today that were like, you know, like pissing on this stuff and saying that it gives it flavor. But I mean, still, guys, like I just find it just crazy. I find it absolutely insane. Like Gen Z is such a bad generation. At 16, they're doing this. Like Tegan Rose and job involves going to the into the community to support people aged 14 through 35 who have been in a state of psychosis for what's okay so yeah we read that people with psychosis might hear voices or see things have trouble keeping their thoughts straight and experience delusional delu- delusions a false fixed belief that pe- that someone might be out to get them or that they're in harm's way one of the big things that we focus on providing education is how substance can affect psychosis trigger psychosis she said Ross regularly meets with clients at their homes. She has a caseload of around 17 people and often sees each each once or twice a week. She cites various reasons someone might end up in her care uh, and get into a state of psychosis. We have some individuals that we would call a primary psychotic disorder. There might be a genetic predisposition. Sometimes we see it occur in individuals with a mood disorder, depression, bipolar, and sometimes it's also substance abuse as well. So according to Rose, despite being in the community and inside the homes of clients, she feels comfortable and safe because of the program's initial intake screening process for potential risk. Obviously, we do have some safety precautions and safeguards in the odd situation where we might need to make a plan, but the majority of the time it increases accessibility for the, for the individual. I mean, so we're going through this, and, you know, it's basically the program currently handles about 100 cases, which is good, but it's just insane how young these people are. In the past, we've had conversations with physicians where a client might be 13. Unbelievable. They have begin they began accepting clients starting at age 14 to avoid an overlap in pediatric services. So you have the Gen Z idiots, and to be very honest with you, 14 and 13. Well, here's where things get kind of messed up. (laughs) This is kind of messed up, y'all. So the Gen Alpha years, those years are actually in question right now. Some people say they start in the year 2010. Others say that they uh, they would start in 2013. So because basically Gen Z, those years are 1997 to 2012, although they're not perfectly defined. So they move the years. Like I said, I, I'm a Zennial, but they play with the years so much that others would just say I'm a straight Gen Xer. Do you see where we're going with this? It's 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 they play with the years a lot. All right. And then there's some people who will say that people born in 1995, or even like ball or correction, born in 2000 up to the year 2000 are are also should be considered millennials. Now, do you see how do you see how how difficult how difficult it is so as a result of that you know the years get skewed a lot so gen out so depending on who you ask we may have gen alphas already smoking you know already using marijuana if they're as, as young as 13 and gen alpha is the generation that comes after gen z the z idiots you know the z idiots as i like to call them or dr mgtow coined and it says, and we're kind of on that border of should they be going somewhere, somewhere like Maryville, or should they be coming to us? That'll be a physician, physician kind of case by case. So they're they're this young, thirteen years old, and already sm- and already using so much pot that they're experiencing psychosis. Thirteen. I mean, you were not seeing this type of thing 
back, you know, with Gen with Gen X and Gen X, you know, Gen, you know, Gen X, they smoked. Gen X smoked. Some of them smoked, and Gen X was just a per, was a pretty much chill generation. You know, they you know they'd smoke a little weed and then they'd go to work and they'd make their money. They'd come home from work, go to their basement. I always describe describe Gen X as that cool older brother that would come home from work, go to his basement, didn't f with anyone. You know, had a great record collection, was always up and available to talk about life and 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 everything. That's that's the vibe that you get from Gen X. And then you have you know, and then they some millennials overlap with that. But you know, but millennials are, they're kind of a strange generation because they they're they're very much a strange generation. Millennials are very strange. Like I said, I'm I'm right on I'm between the millennials and Gen X, and depending on who you ask, I'm just straight Gen X. Millennials are a strange generation. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about the millennial generation because I'm so in the Gen X range. But I do know about the the Gen Z. I do know about the Gen Z. It's, those are scumbags. Them, those are scumbags. And Gen Alpha, those are also scumbags. Those are two groups of scumbags. Gen X and Gen Alpha is extra feral, extra feral. Okay, extra feral. The early intervention psychosis program is voluntary and can last three years. This is really sad. This is really, really sad. I try to set them at ease. Part of uh, Rieger's job is to look out for symptoms people exhibit in hospital or in the emergency room before they refer to the program for assessment. They may be disheveled. They may be irritable. Their thoughts may be scattered. They could have a mood component to it, a thing that is hard to recognize psychosis. Yeah, these guys, these kids are not good, though. They're not good, you know, because like in my day, we didn't, we just, knew, we knew how to chill the F out. We knew how to chill the F out. We didn't have people like that were taking, I mean, guys, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with these lunatics. I don't know what's wrong with these lunatics, you know, but they're not, they're not good. They're certainly not good. Guys, if you're enjoying my content, don't forget to check out my other channel, Angry. I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, and real world stuff, and whatever else interests me over on that channel. So go over there, check it out, subscribe, and support me. Gen Zers are overdosing on marijuana and going insane. What do you guys think about this? You know, what do you think about this? What do you think about Gen Z in general? Do you agree that they are just good for nothings? I want to hear your thoughts on this. And Gen Alpha also. They're like I said, they're feral. They're feral. They're not, you know, they're 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 not academic. They can't read and write. They're they're gonna be a large prison prison population. I need I need to I need to stop. Not 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 uh dunking on them but just stop right here because the video is getting too long and you guys you prefer when things are concise you know otherwise i would just keep on going because i don't like gen z i don't like gen alpha i don't like gen beta gen beta is not even born yet gen beta is the generation that comes after gen alpha i can't stand out those scumbags they're not even here yet and i already know they're scumbags i already don't like them and that's why i say you've got to lift you've got to stay hard because they have to be dealt with they're not here yet but once they get here we we need to deal with them like share subscribe and just remember that all roads lead to mwa men walking away and cheers